Chan. I'm a geophysicist working for Total, and I will speak about MEDIS, a field proof innovative method to revolutionize onshore seismic acquisition. So this slide is showing you the concept of operation of MEDIS. So what is the objective of this R&D program? This is to acquire 3D high density seismic data in hard to access onshore areas while we are minimizing the HSC footprint and the cost. To do so, we have four technical cornerstones we have to achieve, we have to address. The first one is to optimize the survey design as much as we can to be sure that we ensure a very efficient seismic operation. The second one is to automate as much as we can the entire operation to reduce the human uh, uh, resources we need, and we need to do that from the air. In top of that, we need also to do real-time processing and interpretation because we want to shoot the good seismic at first glance. And obviously, what is the point to send a lot of sensors through automation and robots if we need to send people over there to collect them? So we need to have eco-friendly materials to, do, to, to avoid to, to collect this, uh, this guy on the field. Okay, now we are talking about the key innovation of MEDIS and more particularly a focus on the heart of the system. This is a seismic node manufactured by our partner, Wireless Seismic. This is a node where we have the seismic sensor at the bottom, we have the battery just above, the electronics to, uh, to acquire the data and to send it through a radio, and the antennas to ensure the real-time and wireless tr transmission. So what we would like to do, we would like to do a carpet recording by putting a lot of sensors per square kilometer. We can use a, a huge number of channels with that technology, more than 250,000. This is a live data transmission. Uh, we have 20 days of autonomy, and in 2020, it will be eco-friendly. The other uh, key innovation we have to put in place, this is the drone we use to deliver the, the, the sensors on the ground. It will be a fully automated swarm, and we have to at least uh, address also the regulatory challenge. It's not only a technical issue. And finally, to replace the helicopter, which is quite a dangerous device to use in seismic operation, we are proposing to use an airship, which is a smarter, safer, and more efficient alternative to make the operation greener and greener. So after now we have all the uh, elements in place, we can go to the field. So we have chosen to shoot the first pilot of this METIS technology, one of the hardest environments you can imagine to shoot seismic. We are in Papua New Guinea, as you can see on the map. It's onshore and it's a unique blend of high slope foothills and a deep rainforest. So on the right side, you can see the place where we shoot this first pilot. This is in the middle of the jungle. And we have decided to, use, to reuse an old base camp, which has been set up for a previous exploration well. OK, this is the, the area where we do the operation. It was a six-week operation we did at the end of 2017. We have deployed 81 of these darts, 62 from the air and the rest from unplanted from the ground. And we have an excellent HSE statistic with zero accident. The image you see in the background is the real stuff. This is a real PNG deep forest where we do the operation. So when we have a close-up look at the seismic equipment, so this is the seismic nodes. The se this seismic node is attached to a drone. The drone is going to, into the air and drop the, drop the nodes from the air. To shoot seismic and to record some noise, we have used a very light and uh, easy to, to handle seismic source, which is called a mud gun. And we have also tested a very new electric vibrator with one or two test points. So now we have the equipment. We know where we are. So now let's go to fly. What you are seeing is the sortie number six of the, all the flight we have done during the operation. So the landing and takeoff take pad is at the far right of the image. So let's, let's go for a mission. So we start to take off with the, with the seismic nodes attached to the drone. We take off. We are following the pre-flight plan, which is the right path to the first dropping location. We are hovering above that location to check that there is no human life or animal life. And after the safety clearance, we just drop the, drop the dart. Then we go to the next location. We drop the second dart with the same workflow. Finally, we go to the final location to drop the dart number three. And then when the drone is empty, it flew back to the landing pad and we landed. We load new darts, we change the batteries, and we were ready to fly again. This entire cycle took, in average, 15 minutes. So we managed to drop these 62 darts with 30 sorties, about six hours of flight time. And because there was a lot of helicopter operations in the area, it took us three days to fly these six hours. 
Okay, now on that picture, you see all the 62 darts we have dropped from the air. It's color-coded on the left side. The green, orange, and red dots are darts which are sending some data. The black dots, this is darts where we have no communication. Over the 62 drops, eight of these, of these darts had a bad landing. When I, when I mean a bad landing, it means that the dart was not properly grounded. It was laid down on the ground because it hits a very hard surface. On the right side of the image, you see a cross plot with, on the horizontal axis, the penetration of the dart in the ground, and on the vertical axis, the distance between the antenna and the dart. As you can see, the further away you are from the antenna, the less efficient the communication is, and the more deeply buried you are, it is very difficult as well because the ground clearance of the, of the antenna is too small to ensure proper communication. With all this, with, this, with all these drops, we managed to demonstrate that for a good communication, we could achieve a maximum distance between the dart and the antenna of 300 meters, and for the maximum burial of the dart, it's 30 centimeters. In the middle, you see some pictures. The picture on the top, it's a proper landing. The dart is not too, too much buried, but the bottom picture, the dart is fully buried in the ground, and we have only the hook just above the ground. So this dart is very difficult to send seismic data to the antenna. After dropping the dart, we have to record seismic, obviously. This is the whole point of MEDES. So this is two seismic records. This is what we call the receiver gathers. The one on the left, this is a dart we have hand planted. And the one on the right, this is a dart we have dropped from the air, approximately at the same location. For these two darts, we have recorded 25 mud gun shots in a row. These are the same shots. So when you compare the seismic and when you compare the amplitude spectra, the small uh, the graphics you see at the bottom of the, of, of the section, you see that the seismic quality is almost equivalent between the two. It's even a little bit quieter on the dart which has been dropped from the air, probably because the coupling is much better. On the right side of the image, we have, we, you have a record of uh, the acceleration of the dart during the free fall. So to record that, we have put a smartphone 3C MEMS inside the dart, and when we have a good landing, you can monitor the free fall of the dart, and you see one single impact. This is the uh, proper arrival on the ground. If you have a bad landing, you see that there are multiple impacts, which means that there is bounds and rebounds before going to the ground. This is what we call a bad landing because the dart is not properly grounded. Okay, so after this successful pilot, and it is successful for us because we have learned a lot of things, we are very confident to move to the second phase, which is another pilot with 4,000 of these darts dropped with a fleet of five drones flying automatically, and it will happen probably at the end of this year. If successful, it paved the way to the final industrial pilot in 2021, when we will go back to PNG to shoot a full-scale 3D HD seismic acquisition of 100 square kilometer, we will drop 50,000 of them with 25 plus drones, and it will be the demonstration that the system is working. Thanks for your attention. Stay tuned, and see you in a not-too-distant future.